Let's examine. So let's take a look at the following example that deals with calculating. <clears throat> so let's. So let's take a look at the following example that deals with calculating the Fermi energy of an electron in a solid metal and then using that energy to calculate the velocity of our electron. So, a certain solid metal contains 4.0 times 10 to the 27 states per unit volume of that metal. Determine the Fermi energy and the velocity of the electron in this solid metal. So to begin, let's actually recall what the equation is that gives us our Fermi energy. That is given by this equation where H is Planck's constant, M is our mass of that electron in kilograms, pi is our constant, and N divided by V is simply the number of quantum states per unit volume. So this ratio of N divided by V is this quantity, where N is the number of quantum states and V is our volume. So let's plug in our quantities, plug that into the calculator, and we get about 6.83 times 10 to negative 19 joules. So this is our energy given in joules. We can convert this into electron volts by dividing this by 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 joules divided by electron volts. The joules cancel and we're left with about 4.27 electron volts is the maximum energy quantum state that an electron can go into in this particular solid metal assuming that the temperature of our solid metal is at zero kelvins. So, since we are assuming that the solid metal acts as a fine and potential well as a rigid box, that basically means whenever our electrons are found inside that metal or on the surface of the metal, our quantity of potential energy of that electron is zero joules. So we can use this to solve for our velocity. So the total energy of the electron is equal to the sum of the kinetic and the potential energy. And since potential energy is zero, the total is equal to the kinetic energy. And that means we can equate the kinetic energy to our Fermi energy that was calculated in the first part. So now our K is simply equal to one half mv squared. So we're using the non-relativistic equation for kinetic energy. So our Fermi energy is equal to one half mv squared. We can solve for the velocity and we see that the velocity is equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by this energy given in joules divided by the mass given in kilograms. So we plug in our values and we find that the velocity of our electron is equal to about 1.22 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. <coughs> <coughs>